everyone. In your music theory workbooks, Unit 9 introduces Beethoven, program music, and romanticism. This lesson introduces the composer Beethoven. Ludwig von Beethoven revolutionized classical music, and his innovative ideas marked the beginning of a new period in music called the Romantic Era. He grew up between the American and French revolutions and developed strong feelings about heroism and liberty, ideals that were common during the Age of Enlightenment. He grew up in Bonn, Germany, and when he was 21, Beethoven moved to Vienna to study with Franz Josef Haydn. As his composition skills grew, he published chamber music, concertos, and two symphonies, all modeled after the work of Haydn and another classical giant, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. By the age of 32, Beethoven was regarded as the best new pianist and composer in Vienna. It was at this age that Beethoven became aware that he was slowly going deaf, a realization that was so devastating that Beethoven had to take some time off to decide if he was going to give up or continue composing through his increasing deafness. After six months, Beethoven began composing again with new confidence and sense of urgency. He forged a new path in music, shattering many of the norms and boundaries of classical composition. His third symphony, called the Eroica, was the first work in this new style, and it was much longer and more harmonically daring than any symphony ever written. Over the next 11 years, Beethoven was extremely creative and productive during a period known as his middle period. During this time, he composed symphonies three through eight, a violin concerto, two piano concertos, an opera, and many sonatas, string quartets, and other chamber music. By the time he was 45, Beethoven was almost completely deaf. He retreated from public social life and stopped performing piano in public, which gave him more time to compose. This period is known as his late period, when he composed his most challenging string quartets and piano sonatas, his Missa Solemnis, and the Symphony No. 9. Beethoven wrote his Ninth Symphony just three years before his death, and it's recognized as one of his greatest achievements. This symphony includes a chorus singing a hymn of peace and brotherhood known as the Ode to Joy. At the symphony's world premiere, he was completely deaf and musicians had to turn the composer around to see that the audience was on its feet and roaring with applause. Now read lesson 9.1 in your workbook and complete the exercises for this lesson. In the next lesson, we will look at program music in the Romantic era. My name is Christopher Selby. Thank you for watching this tutorial on music theory for the successful string musician.